So there's a video I made a while ago about answering questions during the Q&A and when you don't know the answer, what you should say and do at that time. Now, it doesn't excuse you from not being able to actually answer the question. And what I'm referring to is you have to be really prepared in your presentation and you have to kind of predict or think about what kind of questions people will have about your presentation. This is especially true if it is a school presentation because if it's for school, your teacher, your instructors, your professors, whoever, they expect you to know the answers. You really can't make an excuse like, oh, I'll find it for you later when it's for that type of a presentation because it shows the person giving the, the class, your teacher, whoever, it shows them that you may not be fully prepared. So make sure that when you're preparing your presentation, think about what kind of questions might come up. You might want to address those questions in your presentation so you don't have to answer them at the end or at least prepare a list of questions that you think you're going to get and get the answers ready. That will show your teacher, whoever, that you are prepared. I think it's a theme that I've talked about a lot in being prepared for your presentations. And it's really true when it comes to a school, a class presentation, you have to be prepared. You have no excuse not to be prepared. Make sure that when it comes time to Q&A, that you already know what the questions might be Take some time before and prepare those questions, prepare your presentation well in advance, and you should have no problem with answering those questions. If there is a question that is totally unexpected, then okay, maybe try that expression that I gave about giving the answer later on. However, for most class presentations, it's probably going to be questions that you should expect to get. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about that. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, bye-bye. If you're having trouble remembering what to say in your presentations, here's a little trick that will help.